Hey creator, I want to show you Social Blue Book's newest feature, the Brand Deal Tracker, which is by far one of my most used tools besides our valuation tool. The purpose of this feature is to help you stay on top of all the different brand sponsorships you're working on from affiliate to flat rate to even CPM based deals. You'll be able to keep track of who you're working with at the brand or agency, how your deals are structured, and what you're responsible to deliver for each campaign as well as upload important documents like signed contracts and campaign briefs all in one place. Once you've inputted all the important details of your deal, you can use other great features such as a brand deal calendar to schedule out all of your important deadlines and dates to stay on track. Just keep in mind that a deal will only appear within your calendar for scheduling once it's been marked with the status of contract signed. So let's now showcase how the calendar feature actually works. Hey creator, as a reminder, our brand deal tracker and brand deal calendar is available for our professional members. To access, you're going to go under your professional tab, select tools in the drop down menu, and from here you'll see your brand deal tracker, your calendar, and of course business documents. To access your brand deal tracker, you're going to select deal tracker, which will bring up your brand deal tracker menu. If this is your first time adding a deal, this part will be blank. To add a deal, you're going to select the add a deal button, and from here you can put in the information for the brand and the details of the collaboration. From here, you're going to want to put in the brand name the date in which you contacted the brand or the brand contacted you, and the status of the deal, which includes lead, negotiating, contract signed, deal in progress, invoice sent, paid, or canceled. Underneath that, you'll see brand contact information. This is where you'll put in the name of the person you are in communication with, their email address, and phone number if available. On the opposite side, you will see a detail section where you can add in the details of the collaboration, such as the rate that you quoted the brand, what the brand counter offered at, and what the agreed upon rate was. Underneath that, you can keep track of the stage of the deal by selecting where you're at, such as if you sent an introduction or if you've sent your pitch email. Underneath that, you will see views and impressions guarantee. If the brand is looking for you to get a certain number of views or impressions on your post, you will wanna select this and then enter in the amount of views or impressions that the brand is looking for. If you are working with a views and impressions guarantee deal, it is important that you do reach this views or impressions. If you do not reach it, most of the times brands will ask you to post again until you get to the desired number that they're looking for. If this is an affiliate deal or they are giving you an affiliate link, you're going to select the affiliate link button here and then enter in the affiliate link that the brand gives you along with the commission percentage. Underneath that, you will see a section that says platforms and deliverables. To add a platform, you're going to select the add a platform button here and then select the platform that the brand would like you to post on. Once you have all the platforms selected, go ahead and select save. And from here, you can add in the number of posts and which type of post it is, such as a real post, dedicated photo, story, dedicated video, mention or product placement, and of course, brand or product mention. To enter in the post, you can enter in the number by selecting it on your keyboard, or you can use the arrow up and down button to get to the desired post amount that is agreed between you and the brand. Below that, you will see a notes and comments section. This is a great place to add in any information that you need to keep track of, such as who you need to send your invoice to, if there's any talking points or any other information about the collaboration. And last, you will see a document section where you can add up to five documents that are under two megabits each. Go ahead and select the upload button, which should bring you to your device's documents. Select the document you need. Once done, you should see the document underneath the upload section by a file name and the size. Again, if it is bigger than the two megabits, you will need to upload a smaller document. Once done, you can select create and you should see your brand deal at the top of the menu section. To add your brand deal to your brand deal calendar, you will wanna make sure that the status is in contract signed. If you need to update this information, you can select the three buttons on the side, select edit and change the status of your brand deal. Once done, select save and then head over to your calendar section. From here, you'll see a not scheduled and scheduled section. So any new deliverables that you have will be under the not scheduled section. To schedule this to your brand deal calendar, you're gonna select the deliverable that you'd like to add to your calendar. This will bring up a pop-up menu where you can select the date that you need to post your content. If the brand needs to approve your content before your post goes live, the brand will usually tell you how many days before the post date that they need to approve by, such as the brand would like you to send in your post for approval at least three days before the scheduled go live date. And of course you can add your payment date as well. Just make sure you put the payment date that is agreed upon in your contract. Once this information is filled out, go ahead and select save and the deliverables will be automatically populated to your calendar based on the information that you have. If you need to change anything, go ahead and select the deliverable under the go live date and you can change things such as when the draft is due, 
or when the payment date is due as well. You can also change the scheduled go live date by selecting the calendar again and selecting the new date of when the brand would like you to post your content. Once changes are made, go ahead and select save and you should see the changes made on your calendar as well. You can also drag the go live date to the desired date that the brand would like you to post your content on. And for more information on the deliverables on your calendar, you can go to the scheduled section here. And if you need to change the status of the contract, you can select the three menu buttons here and select edit. And this will bring you back to your brand deal tracker. And you can edit information such as the status of the deal or even the the name of the person that you're in contact with, platforms and deliverables, or upload any new documents that you need. Just make sure to hit save to save all of your changes. For additional resources, you can select our business documents where you'll see your creator success kit, which is a quick guide to becoming a professional creator and gives you information on things such as the equipment you'll need to use, a brainstorming worksheet for your content ideas, an additional content calendar to keep track of things such as the text that you're going to be using in your content, the tags that you'll need to use for the brand, and of course, if you've actually posted the content. We also have available media kits that you can send to brands and a brand pitching guide, which is going to be templates of pitch emails that you can send to brands. If the brand does not send you a contract, we highly recommend that you send the brand a sponsorship contract to keep track of all the agreed upon deliverables and payment information. To access this, you're going to want to select make a copy. This will bring you to Google Docs where you can make a copy of the Google Doc. And once the copy is made, you can edit the information that's highlighted in yellow to reflect the information that you and the brand agreed upon. Once you finish your brand collaboration and you need to send your invoice, you can go to our invoice template make a copy. This will bring you to Google Sheets where you can make a copy and customize the template with your information such as your company name, who you're billing, any general notes that you and the brand may have, the services that were provided, and of course the amount that is due. Last, we do have a pricing calculator that will help you get paid what you're worth. To access the calculator, go ahead and select make a copy. This will bring you to Google Sheets where you can make a copy of our calculator and be able to customize the information in the calculator. Down at the bottom, you will see three tabs which will let you access the other calculators we have based on the type of brand deal that you are doing. And these calculators are designed to do the math for you. If you want to see how much to charge a brand, you're going to start with your social blue book suggested rates. If you have an hourly rate for production, you're going to want to put what your hourly rate is here and the number of hours it's going to take you to complete this project. Once all that information is filled out, you will see a content rate that you can give to brands so you can get paid what you're worth. As you start to work with brands, you'll want to make sure to log into your social blue book account daily. This way you can keep track of all the deals that you currently have going on. And of course, keep track of your calendar so you know when to post your content, when a draft is due, and of course, when you're due to get paid.